Hey guys, what's happening? It's Steve here, and today I'm bringing you a commentary that, well, I probably shouldn't. Because honestly, this commentary is about a lot of bad shit that I did growing up. Now, first off, I just want to tell you guys about this game that I'm playing right here. I'm sure you all know this is Batman Arkham Asylum, and I have to say this is one of the best games I've played in the last couple years. Um, I was kind of getting bored of the whole FPS thing. I mean, I've been playing Battlefield for like the last four years, and I just needed a change. I needed a change of pace, so I decided to download this game on my Mac, and it actually runs so good. The graphics are amazing, the gameplay is just terrific, and all the cutscenes and the stories are just awesome. I have to say the Joker is probably the evilest Joker I have ever seen. Um, the Batman is so cool. I mean, it's it's a totally different Batman than the Batman that I'm used to. I mean, I grew up with, like, you know, Michael Keaton, like Batman 1, that movie. I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, this was just a totally different Batman, and I thought it was awesome on so many levels. This game actually kind of reminded me of my favorite game, Half-Life, and the reason that I say that is because the world, uh, Arkham Asylum, it was much like the Black Mesa Laboratory, because you're always kind of trying to sneak away from people and manipulate your environments, and you're sneaking through corridors and shafts and all sorts of different things. So yeah, this was just a really cool atmosphere for a video game so i have to say you guys should totally play this game but let's get to the subject of discussion i used to be the biggest shit disturber that you have ever met in your life um me and my buddies back in high school we used to go out every weekend and we used to egg houses like there was no tomorrow we used to just like we just we just totally demolished our town um, we used to go to this one guy's house every Friday, I think. Um, I don't know why, but one of our friends said that this guy grabbed one of them when they walked on his lawn or something stupid like that. So we just had it out for this guy. Every Friday, just like clockwork, we would go to his house and just massacre his house with eggs. Now, the worst part of this story is the fact that I think he actually moved out of his house. Like, I think we made him move from his house because we egged the shit out of it so often. Now, I mean, he probably could have caught us if he wanted to, and I don't know for sure if he moved away because of us, but I have to say, when I think back on that, I mean, yeah, basically I'm going to hell. Um, one thing we also used to do is we used to do drive-by eggings, which is so much worse than even egging someone's house because people can get seriously hurt with egg shrapnel. Like, those shells can cut your eyes, they can cut your skin, and honestly, guys, if you're ever going to egg a house, if you're going to be a little shit disturber like me, just egg houses. Don't egg people. That is just bad. Um, and moving along, another thing that I used to do or me and my friends used to do in high school, was this thing we used to call third floor door slamming. We used to go to the third floor of our school, we'd run around, and we would just slam the classroom doors as hard as we could. And I mean, all these classes had lessons going on, so we used to piss the teachers off so much, but we never got caught, and it was just hilarious. So that was all in good humor, not, not as bad as the egging. Um, another thing we used to do, which was just pretty much horrible. We used to steal car symbols. Uh, you know, the little emblems on the front of the cars. We used to steal Mercedes ones, Lincoln ones, Cadillacs. Uh, I used to steal Jaguar symbols. I used to have like a whole binder full of these symbols and my dad found all those and he had a talk with me and he was right pissed off. But I mean, you know, it was just a phase in my life where I was a little shithead and I thought it was cool. Now, as you guys all know, I'm big into graffiti, so I'm not even going to go into detail on all of that. I'm sure you guys can guess that I did some graffiti growing up, so maybe I'll make a whole separate video about that department, because there is a lot to be said about that. But I want to move on to the single worst thing that I did growing up as a little shithead. Guys, when I was growing up, I made counterfeit money. Yes, that's correct. Um, it wasn't like a huge, serious operation, but it was just me with my printer and a scanner and a $5 bill. 
I basically scanned both sides of a $5 bill, I printed it out on both sides of a sheet of paper, and I cut the bill out. And then I started doing this a lot more. I printed out mass quantities of this, or not mass quantities, but quite a decent amount. Don't want to go into numbers. And me and my buddies used to go out and watch movies and go to restaurants and just, you know, we were living the life for a little while. Um, that is until my cleaning ladies found these uncut sheets of money under my bed and they reported me to my parents. Uh, needless to say, my dad was livid. He was absolutely pissed. He pretty much wanted to disown me, and for good reason, because that is just a horrible offense. So I'm just going to stop right there. I don't want to talk more about that. That was horrible. Um, I think the last thing I did that was really bad was when I turned 19. I went out to the bar with my buddy. Um, it, you know, 19 is the drinking age here in Canada. So we got really plastered and he said, yo, Steve, you know what we got to do tonight? We got to do some car hopping, which is basically just opening the doors of cars, like cars that are parked in people's uh, driveways. You open up the doors and you look for money, you look for change, you look for whatever you can find. Uh, I did that and... I basically this guy came up to us he said he had been watching us for a while so I was like yo dude we gotta book it so I booked it I just jet out of there I got away but my friend stayed and he got caught by the cops and you know I think I mean I don't know what happened but I think he kind of gave in and told them that I was involved and the cops came to my house and had a talk with me and honestly they kind of just said you know we're not going to arrest you we're not going to do anything because we know you just turned 19 but honestly Steve you got to grow up you got to stop doing this shit and to be honest guys that was the last time I really did anything really bad or super bad uh yeah yeah, I used to be like quite a shithead and I haven't even told you guys half the stories because there are so many stories. I was just such a bad apple growing up, but I think I turned into a good kid and yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. This video's over, so I hope you guys can give me some of your stories, but I can tell you there is no way you guys could be as bad as I was because oh my god. I I was a bad kid. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and peace out. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low life thugs.